you know, that way at least I'm not kind of feeling like I'm making stuff up on the spot, which is also <laughs> driving me to the at the moment. Have you had a lot of phone calls about this? No. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. Well, we just thought it would be unfair to not get your Because there are people that are actually, look, you know, it is a bit unfair and, and I know you don't want to get involved in a mudslinging thing, but you know, he's got a gripe with me and, and, and yeah. fine. And, and you know what? The sim. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, it's not been nice. It's just been really horrible things he's saying. And, um, so that was the design process. Is basically we used um, Japanese wood block printing and Basically, they use a lot of black ink on washi paper, which is like a nude kind of color. Mm -hmm. But that's not all. This is where the references actually came from. Mm -hmm. So if you see that reference and you see... Oh, is that sketch still here, Steve? Please make sure it's here, Bob. I took all of them out of the Oh, here you go. Catch you with the last one. So if you see the original thing of how we wanted to create that and then couple with a Japanese fan mm. on it, that's exactly how it is. Now objectively I understand something might look the same, but it is just the same. Here is the pattern with the demon because nobody can overnight go and suddenly make a pattern. And nobody without that physically being there is able do you want to bring the dress as well to you? Because I think it's nice important. You said the back is yeah. entirely different, yeah. So you understand something looking similar, but it would be impossible to just imitate somebody's design. You can't copy that because, number one, if you just look at it, our positioning of our slits are different. The, the width of the shoulder. I mean, to the normal person in the street, it looks, of course, the mm. same. It's not. The shapes of the lines are different. The number of lines are different. Mm. We had ours with like a hell of a gown. I don't know if you saw it, it's mm. like a hell of a gown. But the whole thing at the back was, and you know at the end you saw all the Chinese, the, the, the blossoms falling down. Mm. So our back, we wanted all the blossoms to fall down. So, you know, I just feel that yes, while something might look at the same, it's not the same. And you know, if it was a famous iconic thing, which I had no... I've never seen that dress before. Mm. And if, why would I deliberately go and put it in? If you had, why would you copy it? Yeah, why would I do that, knowing that there's going to be a backlash and an onslaught yeah, of against course. us? You know. Um, so you've never seen the dress before? Never. We you saw know the designer at all? It's a Lebanese designer. Yeah. So it's not a South African designer. No. Also, just by the way, after this, go through my studio. Mm. This technique of beading is very, very intrinsic to what we do. In mm. fact, it was throughout the entire collection. And after this, I'll take you through it, you'll see it. So, that was the, the first leap. This is start with the front of this dress. Mm -hmm. In our construction scheme, if you want to open the pattern as well. Look, all my seams run up. Mm -hmm. On the other dress, everything is running across. Oh, okay. Look at the back of the dress. Mm. So we had this because she had the jacket. We just didn't see it so much because she had the jacket up quite hard. Okay. But our idea was that we had the laser cut flowers. Even the opening of our dress, mm. it's different. Mm. It's, we've got buttons and loops. It's my signature trademark. This dress is not lined. Mm. The other dresses are all lined, apparently, the one that is there. Everything that you see has been stitched by hand. Mm. Everything is by hand. You know, this is not a machine beaded piece. And here's, like, for instance, that pattern piece. You can see the seaming mm. is completely different. All our, t all our construction on this dress is completely, completely different. Mm. 